Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino. Friday, June 7th, 2024, pre-market report. Some big things going on here, especially with the BRICS nations. And I don't think it's going to surprise a single one of you that follow this blog as to what is happening. Now, uh, before we even get there, let's start off with what's about to happen. In uh, just about 12 minutes from the time I am doing this, there's going to be another jobs report coming out. And of course, along with all of the other data, it's going to be fake. The Bureau of Labor Statistics, two times so far, has already told us the data is fraudulent. It's not real. So, I mean, I don't know how much you want to uh, weigh this into your equation here, but the market right now is flat waiting for this this jobs report nothing going on here in the debt market stock futures relatively flat um you know it's all propaganda you you all know that so i'll talk about it later during the live stream for uh oh five p.m eastern but it's almost a waste of time here we are being lied to we are being propagandized we're watching the system come apart by design, the people being, again, told where to look, how long to look in that spot, and of course, it's just going to get even worse here. Now, let's uh, before we talk about this whole issue with, with the BRICS nations, which is pretty big news, let's start off with this. So, um, you all are well-versed and well aware as to what is going on here in the banking system. Um, and, and I don't think there's a single person out here that has been trying to raise awareness with regard to what is going on, with regard to the smaller and regional institutions than the guy you're looking at right here. So we just found out that Moody's is now putting several other US regional banks on downgrade review. All right. Um, People, how do I say this to you another way that maybe you'll start to catch on? Get your cash out of these institutions. They're being deliberately consolidated, and we are going to see a wave of bank failures. Not yet. Again, it's being pushed off. Right now, this, this is the preliminary uh, phase, I would say, uh, as to what is coming. Now, I want you to pay attention to something here. This is the FDIC problem bank list. What do you notice? It doesn't even exist. We're not allowed to know which banks are on the problem bank list and are slated to fail. Let me read this to you. So, uh, in American finance, the FDIC problem bank list is a confidential list created by the FDIC, which has banks which are in jeopardy of failing. Again, privileged information you're not allowed to know. Of course, other institutions are allowed to know. Now, the FDIC here, uh, this list is closely monitored uh, if problems are continuing and banks will subsequently be added to this confidential list. Now, the FDIC, as you probably all know, what they do here, um, they take over the institutions and then they, then they decide what's going to happen with the assets of these institutions generally what happens is these assets are sold for pennies on the dollar to the larger institutions this is a this is of course the fdic is complicit here in helping the larger institutions gain power that's what's going on here um imagine anyone's surprised but Look, you follow this blog, you are so far ahead of the curve. Again, we called this out before anybody else, and I'm talking about before anybody else. No, no loans, no deals, no deposits, and the bigger institutions are in a lot of trouble here. But they're out. They have an out, and that out is the FDIC helping them buy assets from these smaller institutions for, for pennies on the dollar. And it's just a consolidation of power, and you all know about that. Now, with regard to consolidation of power, I know that a lot of you out here, unfortunately, um, have been grossly misled um, by, 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 sadly, again, some of my uh, <laughs> fellow YouTubers here. Uh, trying to put out some kind of a dream scenario for you where the BRICS nations were going to back their currency with gold and we're going back to a gold standard. Well, 
that's just not going to happen. And uh, let me just read this to you, and I want to talk about this. So uh, this headline here, so Saudi Arabia, BRICS Nation, China, BRICS Nation, and others are, are now joining with the Bank of International Settlements, the Central Bank of Central Banks, seeking a, a central bank digital currency. Saudi Arabia has joined a, a China-dominated central bank digital cross-border trial. They're going to check this out, but there's no way to stop it. 135 countries, including the BRICS nations here, representing 98% of global GDP are exploring a central bank digital currency in concert with uh, the Bank of International Settlements. Now, in case you don't know, and you can look this up for yourself and I urge you to do this, the, the Bank of International Settlements, their goal has been for a very long time to develop a cross-border, uh, around-the-world digital system. And that's where we're going, and there is no way to stop it. Again, for those of you hoping for a saving grace here, ain't happening. A central bank digital currency, they already have it. Okay, you're not supposed to know that, but they're waiting to uh, unleash this. this. This is going to be another curse upon mankind again. More control, tracking every single transaction you make down to the fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a cent. This system here is obviously the way of the future, and this is what the BIS, now working with BRICS nations, is going to achieve, and you can't stop it. We have no control over the system. You understand that? We have no control. This is what they have been working towards for a very, very long time. So I think this is probably some pretty big news here. Um, but again, this should not stop you from betting against the debt, becoming your own central bank, realizing that the reason, the core reason why you and I are holding gold, silver, is because the system is imploding as we speak with debts, deficits ballooning out of control. The system is being deconstructed, as you all know. It's not going to change the fact that gold and silver are real money. Even when the BRICS nations switch over to their digital system, along with the rest of the entire world here, this trans-world system, um, and that's where we're going, a fully tokenized system. I've outlined this again before anybody else. You know this, okay? Um, that allows you to understand what you need to do moving forward, period, the end. Um, I know some of you are going to be disturbed by this information here, how these the BRICS nations are now joining with the Bank of International Settlements here, again, the Central Bank of Central Banks, to develop this system. So forget about a gold standard. Ain't happening. And I'll tell you why, again, in case you need to be reminded. A gold system, a gold-backed system in any form is a wealth-based system. Central banks' power resides in the fact that they can issue debt to the world. The more debt they issue in the form of currency, digital currency in this, in this case here, uh, or just borrow, pulling cash into the now to fund whatever they want to fund gives a central bank its power. It's the only way a central bank has its power. Can we take that power away? I guess collectively, we may, maybe we could, but it ain't happening in all lifetime here. In fact, I don't think it's ever going to happen. Central banks' power resides in their ability to inflate, to create debt. They will not give up that power if they have to exterminate every single life on this planet. That's what they will do to keep their power. Their single product is debt to the world. The more debt they issue again, the stronger they become, not the weaker. This is what they have set out to do over a century ago. I hope you're starting to see the picture here. You understand? Presidents, kings, queens, monarchs, they work for the central bank, including Biden, including Trump, obviously, especially with his calls lately for U.S. dollar currency devaluation. Tell me again how that's going to help you. Sure, it helps the multinational corporations. Won't help you at all. No, it just sucks your purchasing power away. And also calling for lower rates empowers the Fed. Um, and of course, will help to establish the new system as this is de being deconstructed, allowing central banks to extort more 
freedom and liberty from us, and people are going to surrender it, unfortunately, as you all know. But anyway, that's where we stand today, people. Uh, a lot of stuff here, very important, especially with this move here with these BRICS nations now joining with the Bank of uh, International Settlements to develop this uh, digital currency. Imagine how surprised those of you who follow this blog are. All of you who follow this blog <laughs> are so far ahead of the curve. It's... Uh, it's unbelievable, but that gives you power, as I said. And just a real quick reminder, get your cash out of these smaller banks. Um, get your cash maybe into a credit union. They are safer. They are not safe. Or, unfortunately, I'm going to say this, the big banks, the big institutions like J.P. Morgan ain't going nowhere. Uh, so uh, if you need to keep your cash in one of these institutions, unfortunately, just keep only what you need to. Again, we are forced to participate in their system, which means, of course, again, working for their uh, essential bank issued note, which are nothing but units of debt here. You don't own them. They're owed back to the central banks here. We work for the privilege to borrow this from the central bank, again, for which we owe back to them, plus interest they create out of thin air. Um, I wish more people would start to transact in other things, gold or silver. I would of course, if I were to sell my house, my car, cars, plural, whatever I have, I would have accept gold and silver. Um, but they won't allow you to do it. Uh, our loving, caring representatives need you and want you and will force you to transact in a central bank issued note. Uh, and nothing else. You all know that. Anyway, that's where we stand, people. This guy here got your back always. I will see you later for the live stream. 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern. I really hope to see more of you there. And uh, think about these things that we're, we're talking about here. And then consider what you need to do to keep yourself on the right side of this, people. That's all we talk about is solutions here. A lot of people are deaf, dumb, and blind. They can hear what we're talking about here. Again, betting against the debt, becoming your own central bank, taking advantage of this market. It's going higher. As currency devaluation is, is, is we haven't seen anything yet. Uh, it, more uh, debt creation by central banks here. Um, we know where this is going to go, period, the end. So we're going to take advantage of every single thing that comes our way, right? Love you a lot. Till we see each other again, take care of yourselves and take care of each other.